Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you guys today how to do a uh, pretty simple Puss in Boots cosplay. So what we're going to start with is for the layering wear under base wear slash set wear, I'm using the custom animal suit mini slash B. I changed color one to orange. That way it matches the skin tone. Color two doesn't really matter. I mean, it just it just does your eye color. So I just have it set to green, but you could put it to whatever you wanted to. For accessories, we're using the Amilorant hat slash B. And then we're just gonna let it default. I just made it black on black. And then I just shrunk it down a little because it is it is kind of big. So you can shrink it down to where you like. I like it right about here so it covers the ears a little. Uh, then I use the high dash waist belt black. I let it at default. I just um, I shrunk it down a little bit on the X for location because it was a little too, a little too bulky. And then Y, we did the same thing. We shrunk it down a little because it is, it would be a little too high up on him. So I just pulled it down so it's about at his waistline. And then we left the Z axis where it is. For rotation, everything stayed the same. And then for sizes, I just increased the X. That way it's not inside him. Increased the Y so it's not tiny. And increased the Z because if not, it, you know, it sticks in his body and it doesn't look right. Okay, and then we use the Jubilee cape in the back for his little cape. Just use the black color, and then it comes with the, uh, the gold highlights to it, which looks nice. Kept it at default attach point. I just raised it up so it's at his neck. We... Moved it uh, back a little bit so it's not clipped into his back. And then I maxed out the size on it because it is pretty tiny. And we used, um, for accessory slot 4, we used the ornamental rapier. And left it at default. Moved it forward a little bit. And then we pushed it over to the side a little so it's sticking in his belt. And I, uh, I rotated it a little bit too just so it lines up right because if not it looks like this. And that kind of looks weird. So we just switched it over a little bit so it's in his belt. And then for sizes we shrink all the sizes down. Um, I mean, you can test it out to see what you think looks perfect for you, but I like it right about here. And then the smallest for the Y and the Z axis. And then for shoes, there's a few different shoes you could use. Personally, I'm using the uh, Noelia short boots. And I changed the color to black on black. And then I just made it max size. And then for the y-axis for location, we just pulled it up a little higher. Just because if you keep it where it's at, it, they're like kind of in the floor. And you just got to mess with it a little bit so it, doesn't, so it looks proper. And that's, that's pretty much it for the uh, Puss in Boots cosplay. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Have a good day.